mounting the antenna. Uh, here's the, the way that it looks from up here. Uh, you drill inch, inch and a quarter hole, run the coax cable through it, and then if you want, you can mount the bracket over the hole a little bit. That way it kind of covers it up. But if you do it on a side that's not visible by most people, then not that big of a deal, but uh, I like to cover it up. And then we've got uh, an antenna on top of that, tighten down the connection, make sure that the antenna actually is in the female to female coupler. Uh, that is, uh, has been uh, an issue that I've seen before. You get the technician that had just uh, put the cable or put the uh, uh, actual conductor for the antenna on there and then screw it down. Well, what happens is it gets pushed up um, out of there just by the force because some of the manufacturers, they don't do the, the proper uh, glue adhesive on here. So it pops up a little bit um, or pops up a lot to where it's actually just resting on the very top. You can't see it from here, but resting on the very top of the connector and actually not making a good contact. What we want to do is push the conductor all the way down into the female to female connector so it makes a good uh, good connection. And uh, it looks like this one still actually had a little bit to go, but it's as far down in there as it can go. And then this sleeve, I'm not sure if this sleeve all, all helps all that much, but we put it on there anyway. Uh, push it down to keep uh, keep water out of where the uh, between the antenna and the uh, adhesive but uh, that's the proper way to run the antenna now the cool thing about it is cosmetically that's all your customer sees right and then down here at the bottom when I mount my photo eye I'll, be, I'll run conduit down the photo eye and over to here and it'll cover up this hole right here so all you'll see is the conduit for the uh, photo eye and not uh, and not the antenna and that's the, the reason for the location that it is right now which is just below where the uh, housing mounts to the uh, where the gate frame mounts to the guide post and the housing sits on top of it it's right below that because the conduit is going to go right over it so you really won't even see that hole um, at all so so that's how it looks that's the way it should be done keep in mind that's cosmetic sometimes we have to go on the outside of the post sometimes we have to go down a brick wall and you want to make that look clean too but the reason why that's done right there is strictly cosmetics